All right, so um, is it recording? Yeah, I just want to kind of uh, give out a message. It's a lot of lights there. I just want to give out a message about, um, you know, the park not being fighters' corner, but speakers' corner. And there's a... Content to obey everything! There's a lot of kind of like bullying going on and yeah, intimidation and a lot of thuggery and stuff going on at Speaker's Corner. And you may you may accuse me of that as well, but at least I'm trying to change my behaviour and address some of the stuff that, you know, I might have contributed to my own issues. Like, I agree that, you know, the way I behave sometimes, uh, like, you know, calling out Pakistan caused big odds to come down and confront me and stuff. So I can agree that, you know, I have, I have to improve as well, but there are certain people in the park, uh, like Omar, obviously, who was asked to leave today, so big up to the popo. Uh, cops are the ops as well a lot of times, they're asking me what time I'm going home. But, you know, with an individual like that, I don't believe he's fit to be in the park. And same with Modine and certain indiv other individuals, because they've been splashing water and being violent and stuff like that. You also have other individuals that I'm going to, you know, I would say that, in my personal opinion, remember this is my opinion, it doesn't mean it's fact. It's just something I believe. And because I say something, it doesn't mean it's going to come to fruition. I believe certain individuals are not fit for the park because the way they deal with, the way that they deal with situations uh, could be seen as being hostile, intimidating or bullying in terms of the way they resolve issues. Now, obviously, I've been told not to say someone's name, a bit like don't, you don't say Candyman three times, otherwise he pops up. And it's, that's Jedi. And I will say that Jedi has behaved totally unacceptably over the last couple of months, and also in the park over the last, I'm not gonna mention names or what happened, but if you go to Academic Screeching and watch the video, and go to Online Wipe, you'll know what I'm talking about. I also say this, that even certain other individuals, like even with big odds, uh, I called big odds out about, I called big odds out about the way he, told, the way he uh, uh, treated Uncle Asif. And he's apologised today, yeah? But if he, did it, if he does it again, I will, I will distance myself from the man. And I will ask for him to be removed as well. But obviously, when it comes to when it comes to one of some other individuals like Jedi, he has had a long list of situations where he has bullied, intimidated. He has disrupted three of my conversations, which, you know, I've never seen anyone else don't do. So one with Big Odds, one with Oz, and one last time with uh, Manny Cinder. So all, all of these situations when people come over and start interfering, it's problematic because people should be able to talk at Speaker's Corner without people coming in and interfering and derailing conversations and having free speech. So uh, I have said also, when it comes to Oz as well, big up to my bro Oz, we, we talk about depression, but I also said to him, I don't feel like he should be at the park either, because I think he is not ready for Speaker's Corner in the sense of talking and uh, having a civil conversation sometimes, because he's a hothead as well. So all I want to say to people is just be consistent. I call myself out and say that I'm a problem at Speaker's Corner and I need to adjust my behavior but you need to address other people as well and say, to, and say to other people that they need to address their behaviour and all violence is unacceptable within this area and all violence is unacceptable no matter what the person is. So that's all I've got to say. And big up to the police. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll go over to... Um, hey, are you on court asses, bro? You're mad. Come on, give it. Everyone's getting fucked up out here. <laughs> Who's got my camera? Camera? I said I gotta push him like Uncle Asif. <laughs> Who's got my camera? Your camera's got a dead battery. Where is it? Sid Bash had it. Rod, but where's my, where's Sid, my Sid camera? Sid Bash has got it, man. He's here. Where is it? He's here somewhere. He's, he's walked off it. There he is, look. There. Oh. Content of my From your
Man say it straight. Man don't listen to BBC. Man don't listen to ITV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The black man on the camera earlier. Now Pakistani. He's racist. Yeah, now he's got a Pakistani. Look how racist he is, bro. No Sikhs hold cameras, man. Nah, man, I ain't having it, bro. Next week I'm gonna get some of my Sikh bros down to hold the camera, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're mad we're gonna hold cameras. Watch, watch. All we do, all we do is get in front of the camera. Punjabi brothers are gonna hold the camera for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you did, you apologised earlier to Uncle Asif, is it? Yeah, Uncle Asif tried to go on a little run though after that. I was saying Uncle Asif Allah, I just came to apologise. Uncle Asif was. I heard he. He's lucky. He's lucky he didn't get pushed again. You know, I tell you, he's lucky, bro. Like, you know,